Hello everyone, this is Usapang Kahit Ano and today we are going to talk about logic in news writing. So how do we do this one? It says here that you are supposed to expand the key point of the first paragraph or the lead. If it does not do this one, then either your second paragraph is wrong or the first paragraph is wrong. So what should you do? You have to make sure that you're able to develop or connect the important elements of the, parag of the first paragraph to the succeeding paragraphs. In other words, by identifying key points and ranking them in importance, you have placed the facts in, in your news story in some kind of order, or in this case, logical order. Certainly, this is the best method to use for the introduction and the first few paragraphs. However, with a long and involved story, you will find that jumping from key point to key point may confuse your readers or listeners if you are writing for radio or television. So, you will have to put your facts in a logical sequence and provide continuity between different segments of your story or different paragraphs of your story. How do we do this one? Let's look at these two paragraphs. Paragraph one, retailers have reported record Christmas sales. And paragraph two, shops will be open until midnight on Christmas Eve. So, as I've said a while ago, you have to look at the key points or key elements in the first paragraph and make sure that these elements are connected in or connected to the second paragraph. So what are the key points or key words in paragraph one? These are retailers and we have record Christmas sales. Let's look at paragraph two. What words or elements in the second paragraph are connected to the first paragraph? Can you see any? Is this word shops connected to any of the elements in one? Is it connected to here? Or is it connected to retailers? Obviously, it is not connected, right? It is not connected. How about this part? Open until midnight on Christmas Eve. Is it connected to any of the elements in paragraph one? All right, obviously, neither the elements in the first paragraph are developed in the second paragraph or the other way around. Neither the elements in the second paragraph are connected to the first paragraph. Therefore, there is no logic here. All right, now let's look at this one. So again, the key elements in paragraph 1 are retailers and record Christmas sales. Let's look at paragraph 2 now. Retail Trades Association General Secretary Norma Fleming said several department stores and major shopping centers had recorded December turnover figures well in excess of budget expectations. Now, are the elements in paragraph 2 connected to the elements in paragraph 1? Let's look at it. So we have retailers here in paragraph one, and we have this fact here. Okay, so Retail Trades Association General Secretary Norma Fleming is a retailer, right? So it is obviously connected to this element. Okay, how about this one? Record Christmas sales. Okay, why do you think retailers have reported? What's their basis? Okay, it, and it says here that several department stores and major shopping centers had recorded December turnover figures well. Okay, so meaning the, the Christmas sales are a record for them. So, obviously, there is logical sequence or logical order in the first paragraph and the second paragraph. If you're able to do that, then you have achieved logic in news writing. Okay. Um, in my previous video, I talked about how to teach news writing using children's stories. And let me go back to that story to illustrate logic in news writing. So this story goes this way. 
A young forest glen girl escaped unharmed today when she was chased through the woods by three angry bears. And you notice that the main element here in the first paragraph or the lead is the girl. And the second paragraph now expounds the element here in the first paragraph. So you can see the arrow. The girl, okay, 10-year-old Goldilocks, which is connected to that element, okay, was resting at her Primrose Street home this afternoon, recovering from the ordeal. And then another one, Miss Locks told reporters she had gone for a walk in the woods but had become very tired and hungry. Okay, let's look at this one, hungry. And let's see how the next paragraph is connected to this element. There, she said she found a cottage in the woods and went to sleep because she was hungry. Okay, and she was tired, then she went to sleep in an upstairs bedroom. Okay, and then because she was asleep, she was wakened sometime later by three angry bears who began threatening her. Because she was threatened, she was able to escape by jumping out a first floor window. Miss Locke said the bears had pursued her and she had just managed to reach the edge of the woods in time. So she managed to reach the edge of the woods in time, which is connected to the previous paragraph, which says that she escaped. Okay, and the, the, the key word here is managed to reach. And then because she was able to escape, Miss Locke said, I will never go into the woods alone again. So again, there is logic in this paragraph. And finally, we have this. A spokesperson for the Forest Glen Wildlife Conservation said the bears were there first and people should treat wild animals with caution and respect. This entire paragraph, okay, this entire paragraph is connected to the previous story because Miss Locke said, uh, Miss Lux went to the woods, okay, and entered into the house of the bears. So here, this paragraph says, these animals were there first, and people should treat them with caution and respect, meaning she should have not gone inside the house. So that's what this, uh, carcer, this conservation group is saying. So in this example, the news story is able to achieve logic. Let's look at another illustrative example. Okay, so we have this portion of a news story. Let me read it to you. The crushed dolomite laid over a portion of the Manila Bay coastline was not washed out, but was only covered by the thick black sand from the sea. The Department of Environment and Natural Resources or DENR said Wednesday. In a televised briefing, DENR spokesperson Benny Antiporta said it is a lie to say that the crushed dolomite that was dumped on a portion of the bay's coastline to simulate a white sand beach was washed out. Nakita po na puro kasinungalingan yung lumabas na nagwash out yung white sand natin, Antiporta said in a televised briefing. Ang nangyari po talaga is wash in. Pumasok po yung itim na buhangin at pumatong sa white dolomite, he explained. Okay, now let's look, um, let's check whether this uh, four paragraph news story has achieved logic. Okay, let's go back to the first paragraph. Okay, so it says here that the crushed dolomite laid over a portion of the Minamit coastline and the underlined phrase, okay, is actually the key element so we have the crushed dolomite was not washed out but was only covered by the thick black sand from the sea and the succeeding paragraphs should be connected to these key elements right so you have two was not washed out and was only covered by the thick black sand from the sea so therefore as a writer you have to support these key elements that are found in the lead or the first paragraph. So here, uh, it was not washed out and according to Benny Antiporta, it is a lie. Okay, 
to say that the crushed dolomite that was dumped on a portion of the base coastline to simulate a white sand beach washed out. Okay, so again, this indirect speech, okay, supports the first paragraph, the claim or the key point in the first paragraph. Now, let's look at how the second paragraph is um, supported by the preview by the succeeding paragraphs okay so here uh, the key element here is that it was a lie the claim made by critics is a lie okay and the next paragraph should support this statement should show why it is a lie and you can see that the next paragraph is a direct statement. It's a quoted statement from Antiporda. And he said, Nakita po na puro kasinungalingan yung lumabas na nagwash out yung white sand natin. So you have the word lie here in the previous paragraph. And it was emphasized in the next paragraph. So it says kasinungalingan. See, there is uh, a connection between and among the paragraphs. Okay, now, um, again, it says here, uh, yung lumabas na nagwash out yung white sand natin. Since ito ay kasinungalingan, what is the explanation? Let's look at the next paragraph. So, it says here that kasinungalingan, it was only a lie. And how is this connected to the next paragraph? Okay. Ang nangyari po talaga is wash in. Hindi siya wash out, kundi wash in. Pumasok po yung itim na buhangin at pumatong sa white dolomite, he explained. You see, and these two quoted statements, alright, are actually used to support the first paragraph, which says that the crushed dolomite was not washed out, but was only washed in. Do you get that? So, in this, the first four paragraphs of this story have achieved logic in news writing. So, again, achieving logic in news writing is rather easy because you only have to look at the key elements in the previous paragraphs and you simply have to expound them. You simply have to explain. You simply have to support them with relevant details. That's how you achieve logic in a news story. I hope that you have learned something from this sharing. Again, this is Usapang Kahit Ano. For other informative videos on news writing, kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit that notification button.